I'm Roland Atkinson. I retired from this school at W. Inman, and I taught the sixth grade. Mr. Chilcutt was the, was the principal, and then Mr. Mansfield and Mr. Hardy. In 1940, I started the school with the Paris Special School District, and I was in the first grade in the all-black school, Henry County Training School. Then in 1940, uh, 1948, I graduated from eighth grade in all-black school under Professor Jarrett. And then I moved to Central High School, and there I graduated in 1950. And then I went away to college, came back. Mr. Inman, who was the superintendent of, of the school when I was in there, and my mentor hired me to teach in the Paris Special School District. I began teaching in Paris. And at, at Henry County Training School, which is an all-black school located on Church Street. We integrated the schools in the, in the 60s, and then we were transferred from Henry County Training School to Atkins Porter School, which is over there on Walnut Street uh, at Atkins Porter. Part of it is still intact. But the original buildings at Henry County Training School on Church Street and on Walnut Street, it's no longer just the gymnasium. Uh, Henry County Training School in Atkins Porter. Then we, I was moved. Miss Miss Gardner and I were the first black teachers who integrated the Paris Special School District in uh, at at at, uh, at uh, Atkins Porter on Walnut Street. Miss Mary Will taught the first grade, and I taught the sixth grade. Uh, Mr. De Bruce was the principal. There. And later on, Mr. Chilcutt became the principal and we moved over, over to Ray School, I mean to Inman School, and we had a wonderful time. Uh, we had great teachers, Charles Mansfield, Mr. Inman, Mr. Joseph Harden, were, were my mentors in, in the Paris Special School District. Mr. Inman, in which the school building was the, uh, named in his honor, was my mentor, a good old Christian man. I remember Mr. Inman, he knew that I loved to play music, and he, the men of the First Methodist Church, where Mr. Inman was a member of, gave us the first hymn books that we sang. And he, he always told me, there's gold in them thou heal. He saw something in me that I did not realize, but I love the man, and he, he is one of my mentors, and I'm so proud to be here this morning, to be in a building named in his honor. I love Paris and Henry County. There's none like it. Home of the world's biggest fish fry and some of the finest people in the way you want to find this side of the Mason-Dixon line. <laughs> we praise God from whom all blessings flow. We live in a country and we're proud of our country and our leaders of our country. No man is an island. Mr. Inman told me that and he gave me that song and I play it now. No man is an island, no man stands alone. No man is, each man is my brother and each man is my own. So we need one another as we go along. Treat each man as my brother and each man as my friend. challenge. Uh, it was just a job that I wanted to do and do the best I could for the teachers and the kids. And I thought that was my job, just to make everything work nicely. I love children. And I feel that I can teach any child, no matter what's wrong with the child or what. I feel that the Lord has blessed me and I'm able to teach that child and love that child. And that child knows within him that uh, what I'm trying to do. And 
was full of good teachers. Mm. That's why I didn't have to do anything. years old and at that time um, they didn't teach like, like they do now children I taught through play and he said how do you do that well see they, they didn't have any curriculum you know when, when we started and nobody didn't, didn't have any degree in, in you know in, in kin but but I so, so um, t teach to do play, I was trying to tell you. Well, just like I was telling the children, every, we would say the Pledge of Allegiance. This is one thing, I rem several things I remember that, they, that the ch children, they know because they got all these uh, uh, things, you know, that they handle, you know. So um, we would say the Pledge of Allegiance, and may we sing my country tis of thee. So the little girl raised her hand, said, I don't live in the country. <laughs> that was a teachable. See, that's, I taught through, through things that they didn't, didn't, a lot of things. And you know, it, it's kind of, you smile at it, but a lot of things. That, that we did in the kindergarten, like we cooked. And they got to know what one half was and this, you know. And see, and when they, when they actually had their playtime, I'm there, I'm around listening. Mm -hmm. And then I make up a, a, a lesson when I, you know, that's, that, that's the way they did then. And see, they enjoyed, they thought it was just, if you ask them, they, like, like one mother called a call to school and said her child was just just crying. She can't get her to stop crying. And um, they got me out of the room because the mother wanted to speak to me. And it was it's not like it is today, you know, because you couldn't, you know, they, they don't want you at school if you got a cold. She said her child had a cold and that um, she's she's keeping her home. But she said, the child want to come and she just keep crying, she she can't. I said, send her on. I said, send her on. I said, I'll take care of her. And so, I mean, um, it was different, you know. Children had time to learn and play, like, you know, jump and we'll count, you know. And then I'd take it into the room. You understand? Or do you understand? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. And see, and they, they, they learned, they were learning because if they weren't learning, all parents wanted, to, well, I'm not going to say all, but more, uh, wanted my, put the children in my room because they felt they were learning something. Well, <laughs> anyway. And uh, Patrick and I met, I guess, in 69. Yeah, 69. 69 at Fairview Kindergarten. We were in the same homeroom, ended up being best friends. And uh, I guess have been since. Since the yeah, throughout the years. Played you know, football together. We played football yeah. through high school together. Ended up working at the PSSD together. Yeah. Uh, so I worked here for 22 years. As a maintenance director, I worked here about six years. Six or eight. Yeah. And uh, we've been, we, we, after kindergarten at Fairview, we uh, separated and he went to Atkins Porter. Right. And with my father as the principal, and I went to race school. Now his father taught me. Yeah. I learned a lot from him all over <laughs> with uh, sports. <laughs> I got sports. Yeah, daddy started <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah, he started uh, out as the PE, PE teacher, teacher right. for a year, and then he was the principal at. Uh, Porter and uh, I went to race school, but uh, then we got to Grove, 
in the seventh grade, and after PSSD, we were, we've been, like I said, we've been friends since we were in kindergarten. But uh, I always thought the funniest thing in kindergarten, you knew everybody by all three of their names. First, middle, and last name. And I remember Patrick's middle name from kindergarten. <laughs> yeah. And it's not a t it. Denley is your middle name. Yeah, Denley's my middle name. Patrick Denley Perry, because we learned everybody's same, you know, all th middle name and last name. But uh, we also had uh, Elizabeth Covington was our uh, teacher assistant in kindergarten. I guess she still is a yeah. teacher assistant in kindergarten. So that was from 1969. And uh, but yeah, she had uh, we had all our buddies, and I mean it was a it was a three room school. Yeah, it was a classroom downstairs, two classrooms upstairs, and a cafeteria. And it's about where Taco Bell is today, I guess. Right. Yeah. Here in Paris. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Miss Alice Williams was a teacher. Miss Wilson was a teacher. Yeah, Miss Wilson. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she was a teacher in kindergarten, and uh, we've uh, it was neat. The playground was it was in the basement, you know. Uh, we were in the basement, and the playground was out behind right. the basement out there. We had to take our naps on the yeah. on the mat. <laughs> yeah, just like they do now. We yeah. had a mat. They had to take a nap on the mat. things is changing and it's hard for me to to say but I think I would really say for the younger ones of course you know they know more now children younger so but I would say for the younger ones to get them started all that uh, I don't want to say teach like me but you feel it, you say it. Yes. <laughs> the, 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 I think children are hungry for that. I know they're more independent, uh, or they think they are. Sometimes, you know, they're not, but they think, you know, you, you, you tell them, you ought to know this and you ought to know that. But, um, let's see what the word. What are children hungry for? I, 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 and and a lot of time they're hungry for for true love, you know, for for the real thing, not not that I'm that I miss so and so or that I'm uh, I don't look as good or I don't smell as as nice, but they're lo they're looking for it. I would say the way Christ would look at them, you know, way, because maybe you don't know about Christ, it, um, but, uh, and then you can teach them, give them that, that true, uh, give them that first, give it to them and, and, and let it be true, and then you can, and, and you, you melt them down, that'll melt them down, and you can teach them anything. We're talking about really turbulent times in America. Oh yeah, so the end of the Vietnam happens. War. Vietnam uh -huh. War is happening. Yeah. Ms. Alice was talking about integration, and I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking here at two very good friends mm -hmm. of different yeah. colors who are yeah. still friends and became yeah. friends in a time when mm -hmm. maybe you really weren't supposed to be friends. Mm -hmm. well, kids don't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we didn't know, we didn't know that. We, just, right, we yeah. didn't care. Yeah. We didn't care, yeah. yeah. We didn't know that. You're right. We didn't, yeah. yeah. We didn't. We the didn't color does not, the color no, didn't. It didn't matter. That's what Miss Alice spoke about. We right. asked that very question and yeah, it brings tears to my eyes right. to think about, but she said they didn't know. Did they weren't taught right. that. Yeah. Right. They came to school friends. Fr right. And to this day, Miss Alice will see me, she still gives me a hug. Mm -hmm. So and, uh, like I said, Pat's running a business now that's he can't keep up with. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's so busy. Right. I mean they're thriving. And he's opened up what two two or three locations counting your kitchen at 
the at the shed, the yeah. drive. And uh, he can't keep up. Uh, it's, it's yeah. the business is so good. And I think I called the I think I called the school system that I was yeah, you know, over the years and the teachers. And then working here, and, and working, yeah. You know, seeing how things are run here. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's carried that on with him too. Yeah. So. And I mean, his dad helped me when I even got grown. His dad was, was doing charity work. He had a sludge hammer. Linda K. Blakemore, we went out there and yep. made her, uh, her sister's handicap. We made a, a round for you. Yeah, a lot to kill me, but I, I saw that, you know, Mr. Chicka still doing, still putting out to the community, still, you know, after his retirement, you know, teaching. That just, it's motivating me to see the school system. It did, it's, you know.